Well, we are heading the right direction, right? Look, look at last night. Shocking. You can do what you said you're, you were going to do when you ran, and you can get reelected. It's just it's, it's really interesting. People are fed up with people that run for office and say, gosh, I like limited government, I like lower taxes, I like reg less regulation, and then they don't do it. So here's a guy up in Wisconsin that did what he said he was going to do, and he won by 8%. So we can do it. We've got a big race this fall. Right? And what's, if you look at the latest poll, I think Romney was had six points. And the reason why is we have a president who's defined. He's already defined as somebody that doesn't know how to create jobs. The biggest issue we have in our country, the biggest issue we have in the world right now is people need jobs. And think about it. We cannot have, let's look at the federal level, you can't have the highest corporate tax rates in the developed world and think business is going to flock here. You can't have more regulation than the rest of the developed world and think, oh yeah, business is going to do really well here. Because think about it, all of us shop, right? All of us go out and shop and do we say, oh gosh, we'll pay more money because that company pays higher taxes. No. We don't say, oh, we'll pay more money because it costs that company more money to get a permit. Or it takes them 10 years to get a permit. Or because it ha they have more regulation. No, we don't do it. We have got to make sure that at the federal level, at the state level, and at the local level, we are going to make sure local businesses, Florida businesses, American businesses, are more successful than businesses anywhere in the world. Now, we're doing the right thing in Florida. And, think, and guess what? It works. We've cut the business tax for two-thirds of the companies that paid the business tax when I took office. We're now making it easier for companies that want to buy equipment and machinery to not have to pay the sales tax. We have on the ballot this fall the opportunity to get rid of the tangible personal property tax for a smaller company. We've cut 1,400 regulations. They just kill jobs. And, and it all works. And in, in, uh, when I took office, unemployment was 11.1%, one of the highest in the country. We've dropped every month for the last 10 months. We've dropped our state steady every month but one since I took office. Now we're down to 8.7%. We're now perceived to be the second best place to do business in the United States. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's won for eight straight years. And I said, yeah, I'm sure you're doing a great job in Texas, but your time's up. Florida will pass you uh, next year when they do it the same survey. CEO Magazine, when they do it next May, we will be number one. Because we elect people that know government doesn't create jobs. And we need to be thankful for every business that's willing, somebody's willing to take their time and their money and take and put themselves at risk to go out and hire people and build companies. Thank goodness we live in a state that we reward people for doing that. If we don't, we won't have any jobs for ourselves, our kids, and our grandkids. So, and before I, before I, I should have said this first, thanks everybody for all your support during my race. I am very appreciative to give me this opportunity. I also thank everybody for all your support since I've been governor. I mean, I get, I get letters, I get emails from all over, the, and I get a lot of prayers from all over the state. Now, how do you win these races? Now, you have to have the right message. You've got to have somebody that's going to go work their tail off. But you know what? It's grassroots. I mean, you have to raise money. We have to be able to run ads and things like that. But the truth is, who makes sure this, ha this works? In my, in my general election, I saw four signs in the entire state by my opponent. We won because of grassroots. We won because we made more phone calls than our opponents, way more phone calls than our opponents. We, made, we won because people walked street, door to door and talked to people about what our message was. We won because people went out and held signs, put signs in their yard. We had a better grassroots. And you can see why Scott Walker won yesterday. He had better grassroots than the competition. And even we're clearly competing. We've got the right message, but we've got to get our message out. Now, this is how this is how you win. It's having individuals like you that show up each and every day, and whether you're sending emails to people, you're making phone calls, you're putting signs up, this is how we win these races. And we're going to win. We are changing the direction of this country. And we're doing it locally, we're doing it at the state, and we're going to do it this fall nationally. We, this yeah. is our So simple. Who would have thought that in America that we would believe that people that don't have the right to vote should vote? 
Who would believe that somebody's on welfare, which is supposed to be for the benefit of the child, somebody using drugs should get that money rather than somebody not using drugs? Who thinks of these things? Why would anybody think that we should have different standards for the private sector and for the public sector? We don't. We all, this is our country, this is our state, these are our cities, these are our counties. We expect, we expect it's your money. I tell people all the time, the state government is funded, it's $69 billion. It's funded by your sales taxes, your property taxes, it's nobody else's money, it is yours. How do you want your money spent? Look at all the money we send to Washington. And the waste, the unbelievable waste. How are we ever going to pay off $15 trillion of debt growing at a, bit, a trillion dollars each and every year? How long can this last? But you know what? We've got to do it locally. We've got to look at these things carefully at the state level, and we've got to do it at the federal level. So we have every chance to come to and every chance to change the direction of the country, and you know what? Florida's going to lead. Yes. <laughs> things that we've done in education just in the last few years think about the things that we've done we now we are leading the country on making sure we have an accountable education system making sure parents have choices <coughs> making sure parent principals can make the tough decisions make sure we have the money we put a billion thank you should thank your the legislature because governors can't do this by themselves what your house and your senate did putting a billion 68 million dollars more into k through 12 and watching how other money was spent balance in the budget for the first time <coughs> in 20 years we are paying down state debt first time state debt had grown for a billion dollars a year by making the tough choices watching how all the money spent we paid down the state debt 500 million dollars last year yeah so thank you for <laughs> your legislature reduced taxes reduced regulation got rid of an agency that was making it very difficult for people to do business, the Department of Community Affairs. Your legislature, the individuals that you have chosen, have had a big impact on the direction of our state. And you know what's nice? We're competing. And I, you know, I, I, every day I, I think about how we're going to beat Governor Perry. <laughs> I, I call him every two or three weeks to let him know it's going to happen. So the, uh, we go on national television and you know, trash talk each other. How are we going to do it? But we're competing. We're competing for the hearts and minds of business leaders all over the world. We're competing for the hearts and minds of people to say, how do we want our country to be run? How do we want our country to be led? What sort of environment do we, you know, what sort of communities do we want to live in? And we're winning. As Martin, as Martin Sheen said that, we're winning. But, but think about it. Our message is the right message. But it's, it's what you're doing every day that gets us there. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much for all you're doing. Don't stop. The more phone calls we make, the more signs we get up, the more, the more doors we knock on, that is how we're going to win all these races. Bet these candidates, you have a lot of great people running at the local level, at the state level, uh, and you have great people at the national level. We, we can keep, we get to control the White House, make sure we have control of the House and the Senate, which we can, and we'll change the direction. So thank you, it's an honor to be here.